So should you house hack in an expensive market, perhaps like New York City, Beverly Hills, Miami, Silicon Valley, or should you buy out of state properties? We're going to have this conversation with one and only Dion from Dion Talk, man. How you doing? Howdy. I'm doing great. I, I appreciate you doing this. This is actually us addressing a question that came in during my live stream on Tuesday uh, from Jason, basically saying, I live in a really high cost of living area. And uh, what do you recommend? Should I house hack here or should I invest out of state? Yeah. So I don't know. Uh, we haven't talked about this, so I have no idea if our opinions are going to change. Uh, do you want to go first? Or do you want me to go first? Uh, I'll go first since it's your channel. Okay. Okay. Uh, one of my very close friends, and I actually call him that uh, because it's true, is Millennial Mike, yeah. right? I have a lot of respect for him. I think he's killing it. <clears throat> I really like what he chose to do. He doesn't invest in a high cost of living area because he doesn't want to have to save up these massive down payments. It would take years between. He's, he's a millennial, obviously, Millennial Mike, right? And so he's got that um, speed now, lack of patience that comes with youth. And he wants to do the dopamine hits from more often transactions. So he invests in Gary, Indiana. However, he also house hacks yeah. in the high cost of living area. Because it's my opinion that the more expensive the area you live in, if you have to live there, the more important house hacking becomes. If Millennial Mike lived in Gary, Indiana, and he house hacked, and he could save $800 a month, that would have an impact. Sure. But he house hacks just outside of Seattle, where he saves before he went to short-term rental, because now he's even making more. But on long-term rental, he was saving $2,400 a month every single month that he lived there. Yeah. That's three times the level of importance it is to house hack in the lower cost of living area. So Jason in the high cost of living area, it was right at the end of my live stream and I was wrapping up. So I took a picture of your question so we can answer it here today. My response would be house hacking is very important, but it also comes down to, did you find the right deal? Because remember there's two things that tell you when to buy, not the market, not prices, not rates, not rents, not anything except are you ready physically, emotionally, nothing going on in your life that takes all your time, you have the down payment, the closing costs, immediate repairs and reserves, and you found a great deal. Yeah. We don't just house hack because it's a it, it sounds good. It's you found a place that will reduce or eliminate your housing expenses or be the equivalent with, in my mind, equivalent with rent while you're living there, but you're gaining appreciation, principal pay down, tax benefits. And when you move out, that property will then generate income. Yeah, it has to has to has to have positive income. Or cash flow, as they say, when you move out. So my my answer to this, because it's funny, I've been asked this question a dozen times because I'm such a proponent of house hacking and I live in an expensive part of the world. I Again, to me, it's always the math uh, that drives the answer. But I haven't found a, an example where house hacking isn't the right choice first. It just, if you can lower your um, living expenses, if you can lower your living expenses by at least 50% and hopefully 75, it's a no brainer. House hacking is the right answer. Get on the property ladder, you spread the base, you're lowering your expenses, you're getting the income snowball going, you're practicing being a landlord. You know, of course, only great deals, all of this. But the other thing I know is when you put up the choice between, hey, should I house hack in New York City or Mountain View, California? or buy out of state, a lot of people say out of state because it's cheap. And cheap is not a metric I follow, right? Cheap, you go broke buying cheap. And there's a lot of risk going out of state, especially as a first timer. Millennial Mike has done it, but he had a team. He built a team. He, he tapped into some resources from trusted people he knows. You know, after he was already a landlord in house hacking, so he, 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 was, in the, he was in it. I... I think for most people going out of state is their first investment to mistake, regardless of the opportunity is house hack or not. I mean, I'm, I know a lot of people do it. Uh, many people do it. Okay. A lot of people get hurt because again, they're going out of state because it's seemingly cheap and cheap's the wrong metric. 
So there's one other thing I thought of with Jason that he might have to do a little research on. I know this is true in California. I know this is true in Oregon. I don't know about New York because I haven't done the research, but I have friends and a brother who invest in California and Oregon mm-hmm. where it's it's a higher cost of living area, which generally means it leans to one side politically where you have more regulations, more rent control, more landlord unfriendly rules, mm-hmm. unless you live on the property. Right. My friend purchased a duplex in Bend, Oregon, where they have rent control but not in small multifamily if you occupy one of the units. Right. California. uh, So Jason, look into New York to see if that's a a factor as well. You might be able to have the benefits of being a landlord without some of the negatives that come in being a place that's not very landlord friendly. Yeah, I I, I love that. But yeah, I think at the end of the day, house hacking is right for most people uh, as the right answer. It, it again i have very few financial regrets but the one the my biggest financial regret is i didn't buy a fourplex at 20 i could have i had the cash i wasn't i wasn't yet blowing up my expenses and uh, if i would have had a fourplex probably in sunnyvale or santa clara california that would have been pretty good my life would have been fundamentally different if i did that so house hacking is the right answer most of the time but do the math and to dion's point only great deals say i i am now getting afraid that people hear us push house hacking and they just go online and they buy the first fourplex they see. I'm like, come on, guys. You can't cut the line. You've got to do the work regardless. I mean, stop being lazy. We talked about that in the Three Amigos a little bit yesterday, where I think the the 5% down payment on small multifamily is very dangerous because yeah. there are people who watch our content and they're going to go, let me run the numbers. Let me learn my area average. Let me find the, uh, the best, you know, better than average deal. Let me run the cash flow including the yield, right? So am I am I in positive or negative cash flow? What's my yield? And they're going to buy a great deal. There are other people who hear the term house hacking. They hear, I could do a low down payment and buy a fourplex and they might buy a bad deal that, oh, that yeah. have never watched our content, that don't know, that have just seen a couple of commercials on house hacking. Mm-hmm. And I think it's uh, because lenders are getting desperate. Yeah, they're yeah. going to say, here's, here's the things you can do. First, it's going to be 5% down. I expect 40-year mortgage to be next, where they go, you can even have a lower payment, pay more for the place. Yeah. Uh, that's not going to be good. Not good. Yeah, yeah. thank you for you. Thank you for being here. Thank you for Saturday. You're coming on 8 to 10, talking to the boot camp. Uh, I will also make that available on the Best of ORAT channel. I think it is that good to celebrate. So again, it's it's not going to be hidden. We are going to give it to the YouTube world. Dion, where can people find you? Right here on YouTube, Dion Talk Financial Freedom, where I do my live streams every Tuesday, 4 p.m. Pacific. If you want your questions answered, I'm going to do the live streams as long as the questions last. You are the man. They're going to, what, two or three hours these days? Usually two. Yeah. Oh, man. That's amazing. Thanks, bud. Ciao.